You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by rocktheshrine.com. And uh, today's a Wednesday, so we're going to be uh, giving away a prize that has to do with that here in a bit as well. Dan, how you doing, sir? Pretty darn good, yeah. Uh, the Shrine's got a big bash coming up, uh, what, 26th? Yeah, it is the 26th. This month. If you go to sunnyradio.com and click the win tickets button, you'll find it and sign up and register and all that. Good stuff. I think we may just give away a pair. Yeah, that'd be nice. This morning, absolutely. Uh, birthdays today. If you're one of those sci fi people, and I guess this series was huge, I never watched it because I grew up on the original Star Trek. Oh. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. Yeah, Heidi watched that. I liked that one. The uh, actor who played Detta. Brent ah. Spiner is 73 Super today. Super talented dude. I had him scheduled for an interview. What happened? Then, well, they, they canceled the whole thing. It wasn't me because I said, is it something? <laughs> something I said. Is it because of all my Star Trek jokes? <laughs> huh. Yeah. So he he didn't do the interview. Okay. Well, he uh, uh, birthday today. So I almost birthday. talked to him. Happy birthday, Data. Happy birthday, uh, Data. Model, actress, Billy Joel's ex-wife. Christy Brinkley. Uptown girl. Christy is 67 today. Nice. And I want to say, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> she can have a, a long-term relationship with uh, John Mellencamp. Oh, nice. Okay. And they broke up for various reasons. John was kind of going, yeah, I'm not really into this. She might be kind of hard to live with. She seems to go through the guys wow. pretty quick. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, two she guys is. in 40 years. No, 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 That's no, no, no. A... <laughs> because I saw a picture of Billy Joel at her wedding to some guy I'd never seen before. Wait, so... Billy Joel went to her wedding even yeah. though he was... Wow. They, she must not be that hard to live with then. Yep. If her ex came to her wedding. But she's still his ex. <laughs> some people can remain friends. Yeah. I'm, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not one of those. We people. don't hang out with our exes either. <laughs> we just be friends. Yeah, I really don't like you that much. We like to get together for brunch? Not even a little bit. Nope, nope, nope. Reason we're getting divorced. <laughs> and uh, she would have been 75 today. Farrah Fawcett. Oh. oh. Yeah. Charlie's Angels and, yeah, yeah. and probably one of the most famous posters ever. Oh, yeah. Ever yeah. in the history of ever. So there you go. Historically speaking, I'm so glad you asked. Yeah. Boy, lots of stuff going on here. Where to even start? How about uh, we start in 1964 and work our way backwards? Uh, G.I. Joe. Oh, cool. Goes on sale. Interesting history of that because all of a sudden here comes what you would construe a doll. Yeah. First time ever to market it to boys. Yeah. And the boardroom stuff on this was pretty crazy. Action figure. <clears> that that's they came up with. the very first. Yes. Toy marketed as an action figure. Not a doll. It's an action figure. Man, did they sell a lot of them. I know me and my older brother, Oogie, we had a couple of them. Oh, yeah. And then what was interesting about it, the uh, Batman TV series hit this year or two uh, afterwards. Yeah. And every boy in the neighborhood had G.I. Joe dolls. Well, Joey Scheidegger's mom was a pretty fair little seamstress tailor type person. Oh. And she made us up a request little outfits from the Batman series to dress oh, our G.I. Cute. Joe. So it became just a whole different deal. All of a sudden, we're playing Batman with G.I. Joe dolls. That's oh, pretty cute. cool. Yeah, I was the Riddler. It could have been, ba- been G.I. Joe Riddler. under there. Yeah, my G.I. Joe had a little Riddler, a little Riddler huh. costume. That's adorable. That's very cool. A mm, couple things in 1892, because it's just absolutely huge. 1892, the longest boxing match ever under modern rules takes place in Illinois. Fighters Harry Sharp. Frank Crosby. How many rounds? Sharp uh, knocks uh, Crosby out, knocks him out in the 77th round. Holy cow. 77th. That would be very difficult. <laughs> Think about it now. Heavyweight fights, they can go anywhere from 8 to uh, 10 to fi- uh, 12 rounds. Yeah. It used to be right. 15, depending on the fight and depending on what the promoters want. So you're looking essentially a heavyweight boxing match anymore. They're going to be mixing it up anywhere from, say, 30 to 36 minutes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. These guys were beating the heck out of each other for over three hours. Those poor guys. I can imagine. <laughs> do you remember when Mike Tyson, he would like do the knockouts in like 28 seconds? I actually oh, bought yeah. a fight of his, and yeah. uh, what a waste of money yeah. that was. <laughs> I, was say, I remember, <laughs> well, I remember I a friend get talking to about. my snow cone. They I went, didn't. <laughs> well, these guys actually went to Vegas to see this title fight, and you know they, they spent the money to get in. He said, we spent more time parking the car than we actually watched the fight. Yeah. So. I had even put together a deli platter. 
<laughs> Mike Tyson fight. Seriously, and it's when you had to go to Sioux Falls Cable oh, yeah. and rent a little box, a pay-per-view oh, thing. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Yeah, it was like 40 bucks. So and you had oh a charcuterie board before they were cool. <laughs> yeah, I just call it a deli platter. Did you have the, the lunch meats in the shape of an ear? And I, and I bought uh, you know some high-end beer and everything else, and, uh, and here we go. I don't remember who Tyson was fighting, but it was like a minute 48 seconds later, and we're done. <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Beer, food, and the fight, I bought like 60 bucks. I'm going, yeah, okay. Good times, good times. Whatever. Uh, well, okay. 1892, again, this day, William Painter, mechanical engineer out of Baltimore, Maryland, patents a little game changer called the bottle cap. Oh, yeah. The same guy would go on to invent the bottle opener because, he, well, he kind of had to. <laughs> Until 1892, you literally could not open bottles. It's crazy. Yeah, bottles just sat there full of stuff. Uh, sure wish there was a way to get into that. He's kind of scratching their head. It's like, mm, mm. Now what do we do? It's a good idea, William. Now what? <laughs> there, there you go. Well, I know you know we all know, and we just move ahead here. Going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by RockTheShrine.com. Big event coming up next month. Actually, no, it's this month now. Holy cow, it's yeah, February. Yeah, 26th. Yeah. Tail end of this month. I keep thinking it's January because, you know, well, I'm still writing 2021, so I'm a bit behind. Coming up in a bit, we're going to have some prizes we'll give away that are tied to that for this Wednesday. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Aloha. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? GMDVacations.com is a family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Kauai, Hawaii. Your family will absolutely love the area, and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can have your own area at a vacation rental from GMDVacations.com? Visit Hawaii with us and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. On Facebook and Instagram, online at GMDVacations.com. Time now for Back to the Basics in Healthcare with Balanced Life Chiropractic. We've got Dr. Harley. How you doing, Dr. Harley? Hey, John. Uh, we're looking at February. Oh, I my know. gosh. And it's Heart Awareness Month, you said? Yes, it's the American Heart Association's you know, Heart Awareness Month all February, which, I mean, makes sense. we got Valentine's Day coming yeah. up, so it's the month of love, which... You know, we associate love with our heart and all those fun things. Absolutely. So. And, and I suppose we can now associate chiropractic with our heart and with love. Yes, we will talk <laughs> about that. So a lot of people, you know, maybe they don't know what the heart actually does. You know, do you know what the heart does? Well, I know it, it beats and it pumps blood through my body, but I'm sure it probably does more than that as well. Exactly. I mean, that's its main job is when it's, you know, that pumping, that love dub, right? That's, you know, the different chambers of the heart closing, pushing blood either through our body or up to our lungs because its job is to bring oxygen to our body and then also bring back those waste products like that carbon dioxide for us to breathe out. Nice. So that's the main function of it. Now, a lot of people have heart problems, right? Now, one of the top causes of, you know, death is heart disease. And yeah. most people don't realize they have it until we get older and not. And they're like, well, how, what's going on? Like, what's the cause of it? Like, there's a lot of heart problems. You know, some pretty common things like high blood pressure. You know, most people are on some sort of blood pressure thing. But do you know what the actual normal blood pressure is? Um, I don't. I, I know it's probably lower than it than mine. <laughs> yeah, it says one twenty over eighty is like normal blood pressure. That would be a perfect score. Yeah, technically. Nice. A lot of people are like, okay, that's cool, but you know, my blood pressure is a lot higher than that. What's well, caused my blood pressure to be higher? Do you know what causes high blood pressure? Is I think stress is part of it, but there's probably a lot of other things too. Oh yeah, stress is really you know the big factor to causing our blood pressure to go up. Um, for example, my mom actually had a job that her stress levels were so high, she had a recorded heart rate of like 190 over like 100 in the doctor's office. I think Heidi's have been higher than that, but she has to deal with me every day. So <laughs> That's fair. But she quit that job, got a different job, her blood pressure dropped. That's awesome. So it's like stress will literally, you know, affect you. Oh, yeah. So, you know, people are like, okay, cool, but why is a chiropractor talking about heart problems? How's chiropractic going to help with that? You know, kind of two things. One, you know, we're going to help you handle your stress levels from a physio you know, physiologically how your body's handling it because I can't change your stress, right? I can, you know, kind of mentor you a little bit if you have questions, but you know, I can't change what you're doing outside you know, in your daily life. But yeah. you know, helping to manage that helps reduce your stress levels. But then two, our heart's actually uh, based off our electricity, right? So our mm -hmm. heart's actually electrical. So if your nervous system's not functioning to your heart properly, 
that's going to cause the heart to not beat very effectively. You know, blood pressure is going to rise or we're going to have an increased heart rate. So by making sure that your nervous system is functioning properly, that those nerves going to the heart are working properly, we're going to help with your heart function. So we've been able to see some people, you know, come off their blood pressure medication or, you know, their heart rhythm is more normal, all those great things. So it's getting your whole body to communicate better. And by doing that, that also helps your heart because that's part of the body. Exactly. Very nice. If somebody listening is going, hey, I'd like to reach out, maybe get some information on chiropractic. What is the best way to connect with Balanced Life Chiropractic? They can shoot us a message on Facebook at Balanced Life Chiropractic, or they can call us at 605-215-1785. We'd love to tell you how we can help. Very nice. You can also find them online. Their website is balancedlifesd.com. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. This is a great quote from Wayne Gretzky and from Michael Scott. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and it's free. Take a shot. We may be able to save you money each and every month. We'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you peck out great deals on insurance at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. And now stuff Dan finds it is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Wednesday? Well, before we bust in that, it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. And uh, we've been working with our good buddy uh, Bob Euchre down at the Shrine. He's a good dude. The uh, Cantors have uh, their big annual bash coming up on the uh, 26th of yes, this month. Yes, they do. Rock, Rock the, the Shrine. shrine. And it's, it's Pop Rocks. They're good. If you're not familiar oh, with Pop fun. Rocks... Yeah, they're they, fun. They get around. In fact, uh, they recently finished a European tour. Did they really? Yeah, they're kind of a, a big deal. Wow. What a fun, fun show. And uh, the night's going to start out actually with a little karaoke contest. I wanna, Somebody's going to win a thousand bucks. I want to actually participate in that. That'd be a ton of fun. Yeah, and we happen to have uh, tickets to that event. And congratulations to our friend Jason Beaumont. Yay. Just snagged a pair. Rock in the Shine on the uh, 26th. Snag your tickets. Uh, just jump online. I like think Eventbrite has them. Yeah, is, you is go, if right? you go right yeah. to rocktheshrine.com, it'll take you to all the information, everything Sweet. you need to know. It'll be a fun night for a great cause. Love the Shriners. And if you want to sign up to win tickets, go to sunnyradio.com and click the win tickets button. And oh. who won tickets? Where you? Where have you been? Uh, Jason, Jason Beaumont, Beaumont, Heidi. Jason you Beaumont. clapped for him Jason and everything. Beaumont. You, you did. <laughs> you look like a trained monkey over there. John's clapping. I'll clap. <laughs> Heidi's all, good old Jason. Yeah. Woohoo, Jason! Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dan, what do you find interesting on this Wednesday? You know, I think a lot of uh, parents, new parents, expected parents, uh, whatever go through this, it's like, uh, hey, maybe it's time to make a move here, don't really love where we're living, and blah, 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 blah. Wallet Hub, who apparently has all the time in the world because they come up with all of this research. A lot of stuff, yeah. The best and worst states to raise a family. Oh. Oh. I did this now, seriously, my trajectory here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota is this. I got here in 87. Yeah. Uh, my firstborn came along just a few months after I moved here, Sadie Hayes. I had no intention of staying here, none. Oh, really? Zero. I was going to stay a year. Okay. That was it. And uh, we got pregnant with Luke, who was a total accident, which I have told him. (laughs) Time and time again. Hope he's not finding that out on the radio right now. Oh, he's fine. (laughs) Uh, So stayed another year, whatever, and, and things. And then it occurred to me, I think by year number three or so, that you know what? This is a pretty great community it to is. raise kids. Yeah. And that became one of the biggest factors of me, really, the, yeah. the longevity I'm, I've had here. So they broke it down. These things are based on a lot of criteria, but the biggies are uh, states with uh, the most family fun, the best health and safety requirements, education and child care, and, of course, affordability. Nice. Right. So I broke it down to the Midwest here. The Midwest. Coming in at number 12 is Iowa. Out of all 50 states, including the island of Alaska. (laughs) (laughs) North Dakota ranks number nine. Nice. Which is pretty darn good when you think about it. Yeah. Nebraska's at number five. Okay. That's cool. And I have a lot of problems with this because I'm a a Minneapolis kid originally, but Minnesota's in the top five at number four. No way. Well, the whole state, though. Right now? But the whole state. The whole state. Yeah. Okay. You're you're thinking of one city. The entire state is different than that one city. Yeah. yeah. You're just thinking of District 15, Minneapolis. Right. <laughs> well, Which apparently ruins it for everyone. <laughs> Somebody's getting super specific over here. I'm a little surprised by this. South Dakota ranks number 15. 
I, th- really? I thought we would be higher. I, thought we would be I, higher I was expecting well. you to say we were number one. Yeah, Are you going to tell sure. us who number one is? I sure am, John. Who's oh. number one? Well, it's not South Dakota, which is number 15. Number wow. 15, yeah. Although we do rank first as far as lowest child care costs. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. That's good. All right. The top three states to raise a family, according to Wallet Hub, at number three is Vermont. Should I do a drum roll? <laughs> number three is Vermont. I know. <laughs> I did apparently, not see that coming kids, either. Kids like syrup, apparently. <laughs> okay. This makes zero sense. Uh, as far as affordability, I don't even know how this how this ranks. New York's at number two. No oh, way. What? New York State, not the city. Oh, yeah, that's Again, true. we're going Again, statewide. Whole state. Okay. That is whole state, yeah. And again, we're 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 going northeast here. Massachusetts, Kazoon type, is number one. Nice, yay, Massachusetts. I don't know. That seems <clears throat> flawed, doesn't it? Little, somebody paid somebody off. That's what I'm thinking. Where's Wallet Hub based? Are they based in the northeast? <laughs> <laughs> Must be. Yeah. In fact, they're out of yeah. New York. Uh, you want the uh, bottom of the rung here? Yeah. Yes. Always a sad story. The bottom three, according to Wallet Hub, to raise a family at number 48 is Louisiana. No, oh, that's too bad. I would really? have never guessed that. 49 is New Mexico. Okay. Well, that okay. seems weird. And, oh, this poor state, they rank, oh, man, dead last just about everything. It's just so sad, but it sounds so cool. Mississippi. Is it How? number 50? Okay. I thought for sure it would be a place like Las Vegas, like Nevada would be. Bad I don't know. Again, you can't just you can't just take yeah, you the can't metro take just area. The cities. You're going statewide. Yeah. yeah, I know. But statewide there, you know, you got Vegas, Reno, and like a couple other cities, and then the rest there's not a whole lot out there. So so there it is. Interesting. You know. mm-hmm. okay. Oh well thank you, Heidi. Yeah. Very interesting. Because it's literally in the feature title stuff Dan finds. I interest. found it yeah. very interesting. That is I also find it interesting. Thank me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow, when he gets desperate, I just <laughs> I it's just kind of feel sad. Un- it's uncomfortable it's kind of is sad. what it is. It really is. It really I, is. I feel as though I owe myself an apology. Okay. John, I'm sorry for making you look so desperate. Bring it in for a hug, I do want to say something else that I found very sad that we haven't mentioned. Howard Hessman passed oh, away. Oh, yeah. Johnny Fever. And I, I loved him. Loved I him, loved him. had the biggest crush on yeah. Dr. Johnny Fever. She did. I did. And and it breaks my heart. That That's one was a, that one was a hard one for me. I've been asked so many times over the years. Uh, WKRP Cincinnati. It's like, yeah, is that, is that like real? Oh, well, some of it sure was. Yeah, yeah. and some of it was based on true stories that things that really happened. Yeah, even the, the, yeah, the even way the, the industry used to be. Oh yeah, yeah. He was a phenomenal. You know how actor different that will be program so would be missed. today. <laughs> well, you <laughs> basically just stare at a hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> computer that's running it's a radio station no that's a computer salesperson <laughs> taking a nap mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no not quite well dan thanks for coming in man hey thanks for having me appreciate it guys absolutely it is the john ed heidi show bonus hour with dan ferris brought to you in part by rock the in the u.s there are five credit cards for every man woman and child that's a lot of credit cards and sadly many of those are not great cards at bettercreditcards.com our mission is to help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.com we have credit cards that offer points and perks other cards designed to help you build your credit see if we can help you find a better credit card at bettercreditcards.com that's bettercreditcards.com Here's your Market Beat Minute for Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. Equities continue the rebound Tuesday with the S&P 500 up about three quarters of 1% by the end of the day. The rebound may be losing steam, however, because the move was small relative to the prior two sessions and faces stiff resistance in the short-term moving average. If the S&P 500 index cannot get back above the 30-day moving average within the next few days to a week, the market could be in for a retest of the recent lows. That retest may be caused by earnings this week more than 20% of the index reports for the Q4 period, and so far the reports have not been inspiring. At best, consensus estimates are being beaten, but the outlook for Q1 and Q2 2022 earnings growth is dimming. The economic data is not helping with the earnings picture. The data is expansionary, but the bulk of Tuesday's report reveal ongoing labor shortages and rising labor costs, which are underpinning inflation. The non-farm jobs report is due Friday and is expected to show more of the same. The consensus estimate is a mere 166,000 net new jobs, a dramatic slowdown from the previous few months. You can get the inside track at marketbeatminute.com.